In this program, we'll show you how to install your Ride Right Air Helper Springs. Prior to installation, be sure to review all the instructions that came with your Ride Right kit before installation. Each vehicle may have different mounting instructions and tool requirements. In addition, please take all necessary safety precautions. Park your vehicle on a solid level surface and chalk the front wheels. Use jack stands rated for your vehicle's weight and disconnect the negative battery cable before any work is started. For the installation, we will be using a no-drill kit. Firestone offers no-drill kits for many vehicles. No-drill kits let you use factory holes and can be installed in half the time or less. First, pre-assemble the air spring bracket following the instructions in the kit. We'll start with the right side air spring first. Note that the upper brackets are marked left and right for proper placement on your vehicle. To pre-assemble the air spring bracket, first install the lower bracket onto the bottom of the air spring using the 3 8 16 bolt and tighten securely. Next, turn the air spring over to install the upper bracket. The muffler is on the right side of our vehicle, so we'll place the heat shield on this spring assembly prior to installing the upper bracket. For ease of installation, you'll want to pre-install one of the 3 8 16 bolts that would be blocked by the heat shield when you secure the spring assembly to the frame later in the process. Install both the heat shield and upper bracket using the 3 8 16 nuts provided in the kit and tighten them securely. Next, install the male airline fitting into the air inlet. Tighten this securely so it engages the orange thread sealant. Now, pre-assemble the left or driver side air spring bracket assembly following the same procedures. Before you can install your ride right air springs, you'll first need to remove the rubber jounce bumpers bolted to the frame above the rear axle. Now, take the right side air spring bracket assembly you've already put together and place it on the axle. Install the upper bracket to the frame in place of the jounce bumper using the bolts provided in the kit and tighten them securely. Next, fasten the lower bracket to the axle with the axle strap using the 3 8 16 carriage bolts and nuts provided. For now, just hand tighten the nuts. We'll tighten them securely later. Place the bail clamp around the leaf stack U-bolts. Install the bail clamp to the lower bracket using the 3 8 16 nuts. Again, just hand tighten the nuts. Now, tighten all the lower bracket bolts. First, tighten the axle strap nuts so that the lower bracket rests on the axle. Then, tighten the nuts on the bail clamp to finish securing the air spring assembly to the axle. Follow the same steps for the installation of the air spring on the driver's side of the vehicle. The next step is to install the airline tubing. Carefully uncoil the airline tubing to avoid any kinks or folds. Cut it into two equal lengths using a tubing cutter to ensure a square cut. Next, insert one end of the tubing into the airline fitting installed in the top of the air spring. Push the airline tubing into the fitting as far as possible. Install the air inflation valve in a location where you can easily access the valve and it will be protected during driving. Use the provided washers and nut for installation. If necessary, you can drill a 5 16th inch hole for mounting. Now, run the airline tubing from the air spring to the valve. Route it so it will avoid direct heat from the exhaust pipe and any sharp edges. Cut the airline to fit using a tubing cutter and insert the end into the air inflation valve. Push the airline tubing into the fitting as far as possible. Secure the airline tubing in place with the provided nylon ties. Install the airline tubing for the second spring following the same steps. Now it's time to inflate your air springs. We recommend that you inflate the air springs to at least 50 pounds per square inch. When inflating your air springs, Add air pressure in small increments. The air spring inflates much faster than a tire since it requires much less air, so you'll want to check pressures frequently during inflation. Once the springs are inflated, check the fittings for air leaks.
Spray a solution of soap and water on the fittings. If a leak is present, you'll see expanding bubbles around the leaking area. If you find a leak, let the pressure out of the line before repairs. If the leak is at a tubing connection, check that you have a square cut and that the tube is fully inserted into the fitting. If you find a leak where the air fitting screws into the spring, just screw the fitting into the air spring until the leak stops. Reinstall the tubing, reinflate the air springs, and check for leaks like before. Before you use your vehicle, make sure you have proper clearance around the air springs. With a load on your vehicle, you must have at least a half inch clearance around the air springs. For Ride Right Air Helper Springs load capacity versus air spring pressure values, refer to your installation guide. To prevent injury to yourself and damage to your vehicle, don't exceed the maximum load recommendation by the manufacturer. You'll find this information in your vehicle's operating manual, and the sidewalls of your tires will have the maximum load recommendations in pounds and kilograms. In this program, you've seen how easy it is to install a Ride Right Air Helper Spring Kit. Keep in mind that every step is described in detail in the installation guide that came with your Ride Right Kit. That's all there is to installing your Ride Right Air Springs. Now you're ready to carry your load in safety and comfort. Thanks to your Ride Right Air Springs. From Firestone, the world's number one air spring.